got one that can see. E. Minifash, 7th of January, 2024. And I do pray you're well. I had to share this with you. Donald John Trump has posted a video to his Truth Social profile, giving his approval to a video that was produced recently that portrays Donald John Trump quite literally as the Christ. In my opinion, this is blasphemous. Antichrist. And they are literally telling you he is Christ. Which, in this upside-down world, in my worldview, that means Antichrist. Someone who's replacing Christ is the definition of Antichrist. And that is what this video literally says. And millions upon millions of people are just eating it up. And all I'm telling you is do not be deceived. Get into your Bible. Go before the throne and pray for discernment and truth in what you're witnessing. Because this is just mind-blowing. And it goes right along with the whole falling away first that I've been seeing for weeks now. The phoenix, the burning down, the new era. You understand? And he's the guy that's going to bring in that golden age. Watch this video. Leave a comment. I'll leave a link to where I got the video. And armor up for real. The deception is running absolutely insane. And on June 14, 1946, God looked down on his planned paradise and said, I need a caretaker. So God gave us Trump. God said, I need somebody willing to get up before dawn, fix this country, work all day, fight the Marxists, eat supper, then go to the Oval Office and stay past midnight at a meeting of the heads of state. So God made Trump. I need somebody with arms, strong enough to rustle the deep state, and yet gentle enough to deliver his own grandchild. Somebody to ruffle the feathers, tame cantankerous World Economic Forum, come home hungry, have to wait until the first lady is done with lunch with friends, then tell the ladies to be sure and come back real soon, and mean it. So God gave us Trump. I need somebody who can shape an ax, but wield a sword, who had the courage to step foot in North Korea, who can make money from the tar of the sand, turn liquid to gold, who understands the difference between tariffs and inflation, will finish his 40-hour week by Tuesday noon, but then put in another 72 hours. So God made Trump. God had to have somebody willing to go into the den of vipers, call out the fake news for their tongues as sharp as a serpent's. The poison of vipers is on their lips, and yet stop. So God made Trump. God said, I need somebody who will be strong and courageous, who will not be afraid or terrified of the wolves when they attack, a man who cares for the flock, a shepherd to mankind who won't ever leave nor forsake them. I need the most diligent worker to follow the path and remain strong in faith and know the belief of God and country, somebody who's willing to drill, bring back manufacturing and American jobs, farm the lands, secure our borders, build our military, fight the system all day, and finish a hard week's work by attending church on Sunday. And then his oldest son turns and says, Dad, let's make America great again. Dad, let's build back a country to be the envy of the world again. So God made Trump. Yeah, so honestly, I don't even have it in me to comment any further on this right now. There are millions of professing Christians that are falling for this hook, line, and sinker. They will be victim of this strong delusion that God will give them because they have not the love of the truth. This is, in my personal view, a direct manifestation 
of a falling away first. All the representation and symbolism we see of it, the timing of it, there's a myriad of things that are pointing to this. That falling away first and the man of sin be revealed. You know, the one who exalts himself above all. This is a huge deception. So I'm just suggesting that people reevaluate what you believe in and what you trust in. Is it a man? Do you honestly and truly believe that this is the coming of the Christ just as the video literally says? He is the shepherd that will never leave you or forsake you? Are you kidding me? Snap out of it, you professing Christians. Put your pride and your patriotism to the side for a moment and reevaluate what salvation is in Christ. And then come back and look at this again. And I pray the Lord tears the scales from your eyes. Because at some point, you are going to be in that trap and you ain't getting out. You understand? God bless each and every one of you. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God,